Police are now revealing new details about what happened inside that sauna-like sweat lodge in Arizona that left two people dead. The family of one of the victims said she was in top shape. So what happened? Our Mike Von Fremd has the latest now from Sedona, Arizona. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Kate. Homicide investigators say it may be four weeks before we know if criminal charges will be brought, but we are learning shocking new details of the conditions the 60 people endured during their spiritual ceremonies. Three days later, and there are still more questions than answers about what caused the deaths of Kirby Brown of Westtown, New York, and James Shore of Milwaukee during a spiritual ceremony inside this makeshift tent called a sweat lodge. The two were among the 50 followers at a retreat run by self-help expert James Ray, and from details now emerging, it was an intense physical ordeal. After about the fourth round, uh, two participants were dragged to the door by the people attending the sweat lodge. It is believed that the entire sweat lodge lasted for eight rounds. The so-called rounds lasted for roughly 15 minutes each, and as the sweat lodge was becoming hotter, more of the participants inside became increasingly distressed. The only ventilation was the door, uh, the one entrance and exit when it was open. A sweat lodge is a Native American ritual that involves placing fire-heated rocks in a totally enclosed space. Water is poured on the rocks to create steam with more hot rocks added as the ceremony unfolds. The sheriff says 58 rocks were used in Thursday's ceremony as 50 to 60 people huddled inside the enclosure. There's a, a lot that can go wrong, and people are being exposed to a lot of heat. We do, you know, we do make apprise people of that. But investigators are looking beyond the heat as the possible cause of this tragedy. They've taken samples of the materials the sweat lodge was built from. One local Native American thinks they may find the cause there. If you use bad material, plastics, things like that, that causes toxic fumes. That's why we don't use plastic in our lodge. And the sheriff still wants to talk to the retreat's organizer, James Ray. We uh, attempted to interview Mr. Ray at the, at the scene. Uh, he refused to talk to us. So far, Ray has reacted only via Twitter, saying, I'm shocked and saddened by the tragedy. I am spending the weekend in prayer and meditation for all involved in this difficult time. Ray has been holding spiritual events here in Sedona for more than five years. As the criminal investigation continues, there is a possibility of Ray now facing lawsuits from families of the victims.